I want to show you a cool thing that you can do to automate your workflow outside the automation platform. Let's say, for example, this Active Pieces automation platform, we will be setting up a simple automation which will create content to our Reddit, for example, our subreddit, so that we don't need to set up a website. And then you will be able to run that without clicking the automate or without scheduling. If you don't want to schedule the automation and you just want to manually run that without coming back here in active pieces, that's the approach that I'm going to show you, which may be helpful for you in some cases, in some use cases, you may want to automate things outside the uh, active pieces. So this is how we're going to do that. So first of all, we're going to have to create our workflow from scratch. So today I'm using active pieces because so far, this is the simplest platform you can use without any setup, without any self-hosted, and it's really flexible. It's free. And if you need more automation, you can just upgrade for just $1 for extra 1,000 tasks, all right? Now, here, each step that you run is equal to one task. So let's say this automation has five steps. So that means every time you run this approach, then you will consume five tasks. So if you're not a heavy user, you can go straight to active pieces. Now, what I'm wanting to do is a simple autoblogger, which will post contents to our subreddit right here, which is all about bees or winter beehive. Now, in order for me to easily post a content here in my subreddit, I will be using this automation helper here. So I'll just need to set up these few parameters in active pieces, then I will be able to post a content and I can run the content manually just by typing a command like this or even running it in a browser such as Postman. So here we will run the endpoint using Postman and also this request bean. So all the online browser that can run curl command like that or HTTP REST API, you can use that. So that's why I'm going to show you because it might be helpful for you in the future if you need this type of use case now let me first set up the uh, first step right here so to be able to do that the very first thing that you need to have in your step is called webhook so most of you have heard of this one so it will produce this type of url right here that you can call anywhere outside active pieces to trigger your automation so that's what we're going to do so i'm gonna copy this and then paste it somewhere so this is what we're going to run for example in postman or here in rec bin but in order for us to send data, we will need to pass a parameter. So look at this guy. So for example, every time you want to create a content, you found a keyword, you found a low competition keyword. So what you need to do is just copy this endpoint. You have to save this endpoint somewhere. And then for example, I'm using Postman and then paste the URL or the endpoint just like that and pass the data. So here, for example, my data will be a keyword. What is a winter beehive so something like that now if you want to see whether the data is arriving in your active pieces what you just need to do is add this path right here slash test before it pass the parameter so going back to active pieces so to receive that you will see here you're gonna click this test trigger and here please go to webhook and trigger catch webhook so that means you need to trigger the endpoint which i'm gonna do now so when i click this so you see the response right there and when you go back to active pieces just wait for a few moments and there you go tested successfully you will see the data right here so let's see that's our keyword right there so what is a winter beehive so that's what we're going to fetch this value right here and then create the content so the second thing is of course let's generate the content you can either use gemini which is free that's a very limited call so if you're again a heavy user uh, you may need to wait for some required gaps in order to use the api again but if you want to increase your limit you can add your billing you can add your credit card details here in gemini then it will increase your limit so just to easily create a workflow for now, I'm just going to use Article AI Generator. Again, guys, you don't have to use this. You can easily use the Gemini, which is free. But for the sake of this video, because I want to easily set up the whole thing without manually adding the JSON data right here. So I can just pass the simple URL, simple query parameter to create my content. So I'm going to copy this. 
this request URL right here. And coming back to active pieces, I'm going to add one HTTP request. So right there, send HTTP request. So select that. And in this HTTP request, so the method will be post and URL will be uh, this one create article. Now you don't have to add headers. You go straight to query parameter. And as stated here, I just need to add my username. So the UI of active pieces is really easy to use. You can learn it in just a single day. As you can see, they have this simple form which you can populate and it's very flexible. Again, it has free 1000 operations and you can just upgrade for $1 for another 1000 operations. Now, very important to add your secret key. Now I'm going to add that. So just copy the secret key right there. And the last thing will be the keyword, just like that. So the keyword, we will be fetching it from, of course, this one right here. So go to query parameters and we will need this keyword. So every time we pass something in this parameter, keyword parameter, it will be fetched here and the article will be easily created or the content will be easily created. Now I'm just going to add one more parameter, which is, for example, I just want my article to be uh, short. So I'll just pass length. By default, it, if you don't pass length, it will be medium. So let me just pass a short article just like that. So in these four basic parameter, it will produce the simple article that you can post right away to your WordPress. And in our case, I'm going to add that to my subreddit, which I'm going to show you how you can easily do that. Now, that's it. That's all you need. Now, for this step, that's done, the step two. And here, my third step will be the posting to Reddit, which I will need another HTTP request. So I'm going to add another HTTP request right here. And I'll just follow the guidelines here in the Reddit subreddit automation. So you just need to get an account here in circuitai.online. So it's free. You can have all your credentials, your Reddit credentials, your WordPress credentials stored here. So every time you create a, an automation, it will be an easy access for you. So to set this up, so again, the request URL. So we're going to add that as method post. And then the request URL will be right here. So here we will need to add the header as mentioned right here, which is the content type and add the value right here. So paste that right there. And you only need one header and then go straight to this one body. So remember in article AI generator, we add a query parameter, but here sending the information to Reddit, we will need to modify this body. All right. We will need to send form data. So select the form data right there and you will be able to add items. So just like you're adding query parameter, but it's in form data. So going back here, I'm going to add my username, same thing. So this username is the circuit AI username will be this one. Now the second parameter will be the identifier. So identifier is acquired by going to credentials. And here you can add multiple credentials if you want your WordPress, your Reddit, or your Medium account. So you can do that. In my case, I'm just going to grab my Reddit account and paste the identifier right there. So it will know I am posting to Reddit. It's going to take the credentials of my Reddit account, which I added in circuitai.online. Now, coming back to the automation helper, the post title, usually the post title, will be coming from the generated article right here. So since we haven't triggered this one, we need to know the format of the response of this call right here. Since I'm aware of how it will respond, I'm just going to show you how you can add that easily without triggering this step right here. So in active pieces, you just need to have this string. So the name of the step or the number of step. So in our case, it's step number two. It's actually not step number two. You have to, when you hover over this step, you will see this one, right? Step underscore one. So that's what you need to remember. Now that is that string right here, step one, and then body, and then the key of the response, which is the title. It will be different for other API call. It will be different for Google AI studio. But since we are just using article AI generator, so this is the format, how you're going to respond, how you're going to add the dynamic value from the response of this step right here. So I'm going to add that here. As you can see, it's added. Now, the next item that we have to add is the post content, a very simple setup right here. Again, the same thing that you will need is copy this. So since this is the title, so I know that the format of the response will be content. 
to post the content. So you just have to know the response format of the API you are using. And in the last parameter that we will need to send is the name of our subreddit. So here we're going to pass this subreddit. And of course, we're going to post that to our subreddit right here, which is this one. I'm going to copy that and paste it right there. So that's it. That's all we need. We will now be able to create content outside this workflow. And if you want to activate this, you do need to take this first step right here. Make sure you copy the live URL. So you save that somewhere. So this is our live URL. You don't need to append slash test if you are actually using the live URL. So you copy this and go to a postman or request being well, let's try here in a request being. So I'm just going to copy this and you just have to select get as the method. And here we will be passing the keyword. And I'm just going to grab some example keyword or topic. So using Google people also ask section. So I'm just going to grab some questions right here. So what do bees do in the hive in winter? So that's a really good trap topic right there. So I'm going to copy that. So I will pass that as the keyword parameter, just like that. And when I hit send, it will trigger the automation right here. So you don't have to come to active pieces or you don't have to go to article AI generator if you need an article or AI studio. So you just need to remember how you got to trigger this webhook right here anywhere. You can also use this command right here, which you can run directly in your terminal. So we are going to test that too. So let's proceed testing this. Now, before you test that, make sure you publish this. So you, we publish this. So as you can see, flow has been published. So now when we click this send, it should trigger the automation right here. Also, let me click this now. So the response is 200. That means we don't receive any issue. And usually it's empty response right here. And we'll just wait. So there you go. It's triggering. So look at this. So just now it's triggering. So we can see how it's being triggered. So now it's creating the article right here. So successfully created the article and succeeded posting to our Reddit. So let's check. We should now have our new content right here. Let's refresh this. And there you go. One minute ago. What do beasts do in the winter? So when we open that, we have our nicely formatted content right here. So we have a comprehensive TO friendly article produced by Article AI Generator with the right number of words. And if we are publishing that to Reddit, of course, we know that this is a powerful platform. We have a chance of ranking this keyword right here. You can also run this if you don't want to use the browser. So you can just grab another keyword. What mistake for winter beekeeping? So we're going to grab this keyword. And here, this is the command that we will pass in our terminal. So I'll just replace the keyword value with this one right here. And then this URL will be replaced with our actual webhook endpoint. So I'm going to copy this and replace it with this one. Now that's the command that we're going to run. So let's see. I'm going to copy this. And here I'll open my terminal. So I'll just need to paste this command right here. And when I trigger this or I execute this, it will again trigger the automation. So let's do that. So there you go. We have the response, an empty response. So that's an indication that it's now triggering again. So let's go back. So here, 1107, it's triggering. So it's quite quick. I'm not sure if there's any issue because it's just completed. There's an error. Keyword field should not be blank. I think we haven't passed this one correctly, but uh, let me check how it sent the data. So keyword is blank right there. We just kind of need to fix this. So in that case, we will need to send it via this, this command line. All right. So we will append the keyword right here after the URL, but still the method is post. So it's either of the two. So we're going to copy this and let's execute this one last time in our terminal. Now coming back here in active pieces. Now it's executing. So that means it received the keyword data. So let's wait for now that posted. So hopefully it's here now. So let's go back and refresh our subreddit. We should have the second content. There you go. What is a mistake for winter beekeeping? So that's our second content right there, automatically posted. And there you go. We have our comprehensive article right here with the right number of words and all the formatting required to be 
a SEO friendly article and we posted that on Reddit. So we have a higher chance of ranking on this keyword. And that's about it, guys. So hopefully you find some value on this video. Again, this will be helpful for you if you have another type of workflow. If you just want to manually run your automation, if you don't want to create your article via schedule. So you can do this approach just by making sure you take note of your URL, your endpoint right here, and you can run it anywhere. You can use Red Bean or you can use a Postman and send your parameter right here. And I think that's about it, guys. So I hope you learned something from this one. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. See you in the next one.